Hello everyone, welcome to Go Collectibles. Uh, this is a video I've been wanting to do for quite a while. And frankly, I've been a little bit lazy getting around to it. Um, I posted this purchase over on the PSA forums about six months ago. And I had a lot of interest um, from a few people to do a video on this set. So the set that we're discussing today is what I believe is one of the rarest sets in existence. I believe I'm the only one that has a complete set. Especially that's uh, graded by Beckett and all the autographs are authenticated. And the set that I'm talking about is the 1984-85 Star Court Kings 5x7 set. So to give a little history on this set, the set came out in 1984-85. It was issued in two bagged sets. So the first set was 25 cards and those cards are yellow. And the second set of 50 cards, number 26 through 50, they were issued in a bag set and those cards were blue. Uh, during this time in basketball card history, Star Company was the only company issuing basketball cards. Top stopped producing basketball cards a few years before and Fleer hadn't yet started to produce basketball cards. So this set is kind of unique in NBA history in that during this time period, this is really the only company, Star Basketball, that produced uh, officially licensed NBA sets. And what's really cool about this set is that as an autograph set on a larger card stock that's 5x7, the autographs are really large, they really pop, and I just think it's a unique special set that you won't find anywhere else. So let's get started. I'm going to go card by card and talk about each card a little bit and provide some history on it. So the first card in the set... Card number one is the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. So this is one of the greatest NBA players of all time, greatest college players of all time, multiple NBA championships, college championships, UCLA superstar, uh, NBA Hall of Famer. And the card, as you can see, was graded authentic. And then the autograph grade was an eight. I don't know if you can see that. Um, every single card in this set is autographed in blue which makes it unique, especially for people like myself that are a little bit OCD. Um, having the same color autograph for the whole set is pretty amazing. And I'm gonna give you a little look at what the back of the card looks like. This one was obviously attached in a book somewhere. There's a, there's a slight tear on the back. But overall, a very nice eye appealing card with a nice bold auto Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. The next card in the set, probably a player that too many people aren't uh, familiar with unless you're an old-time NBA uh, buff Jeff Ruland uh, he played for the Washington Bullets most of his career kind of a big burly bang type of uh, NBA player had a decent jump shot his career got the by injuries but again a nice blue autograph bold yellow cardstock where really pops out <clears throat> and again the back of this one doesn't have that tear that the cream had but again just a really nice unique set very cool stuff. Go to card number three. Mark Aguirre. Uh, this one graded an autograph grade of an eight. Um, Mark Aguirre was an amazing shooter for multiple teams. Clippers, Pistons, Mavericks. He averaged about 20 points per game for his entire career. Was a three-time NBA All-Star. Or sorry, All-NBA Star. Um... A little history on this set. I did not buy this uh, set piece by piece or card by card and submit it to Beckett. I bought the entire set ungraded from Steve Hart of Baseball Card Exchange. I bought the set for about $3,000 as part of a group deal about four or five years ago. I sat on the set for a while and then I eventually got around to submitting it to Beckett. It sat at Beckett for almost a year and then it finally popped a few months ago. Uh, this player... NBA superstar, legend, Julius Irving, Dr. J, um, NBA Hall of Famer. This received an autograph grade, grade of an 8. But as you can tell, Julius Irving, these are all old school autographs. In other words, these were acquired during the time period these cards were issued. The person that I purchased these from, uh, through Steve Hart, collected different sets from Star. So these are all vintage autographs from back in the mid-80s, which makes this set even more unique. Really gorgeous looking card here. Great condition. 
Next we go to card number five. Kelly Tribuca. Kind of a nice, interesting autograph. Very detailed, gorgeous. The fact that this grade got an eight is a little shocking to me. Because it's a really bold autograph. Um, not too many fades or jumps. I'm not sure why that got an eight. But again, gorgeous card. Next one, card number six, Buck Williams. Again, with the blue autograph. Uh, Buck Williams, pretty solid NBA star. As you can see in the photo, pretty ripped. There's pretty impressive muscles there. Um, he played in the NBA for about 17 years. Uh, really wasn't a superstar level player, but very reliable. Uh, went out and got your 10 points, 10 rebounds every night. Just uh, a good player in the league. We go to the next card, card number seven with an autograph, autograph grade of an eight. Sidney Moncrief uh, played for the Bucks. It looks like on this card that Sidney Moncrief started to sign it in ballpoint pen, or he did sign it in ballpoint pen, and then it was done again in the blue ink that is common throughout this entire set. Uh, Sidney Moncrief, uh, his most famous probably contribution to the NBA was just being a defensive pest. Um, I know that Michael Jordan went up against him, and back in the day, when you look at old the newspaper articles, and the Bucks and the Chicago Bulls had a lot of NBA rivalries, that Michael Jordan always gave credit to Sidney Moncrief for defending him very tough and always respected his game. So I thought that was kind of a neat side note on this card. Next card is card number eight, World Be Free, and this is an autograph grade of a nine. I don't see much difference uh, from this one for some of the previous autographs of why this is an 8 or a 9. I'm not sure if the same person graded all the autographs on this set. But again, nice card. Uh, World Be Free, known for being a freak athlete. Average about 20 points a game over a 14-year career. Um, his signature move was a high-arcing jump shot, which uh, was very pleasing to the crowds. And nice card. There's the back of it. And we will go to the next card, which is another all-time NBA great, NCAA great, Bill Walton. This received an autograph grade of an 8. And again, you know, this autograph looks pretty bold to me. I don't know why I received an 8. I don't see any runs. I don't see any pen lifts. It's about one of the nicest autographs I've seen for a Walton on a vintage card. But again, I just love that yellow border. Now it just highlights all the action and focus your eyes on the inside of the, the frame of the card and where the photos are. So now we're on card number 10. I'm going to try to speed this up a little bit. Uh, I know we have 40 more cards to go. Uh, this autograph grade of a 9 Purvis Short, Golden State Warriors. Again, nice bold auto on this 5x7 card, oversized card. I mean, these size cards are just perfect for these big autographs and the players... Uh, for the most part, I think, took advantage of that and really signed them in a beautiful condition. Uh, next card, Utah Jazz, Ricky Green. Uh, this one, Ricky Green signed it vertically on the left side of the card. This one received an autograph grade of a 10. I'm not sure why this one is a 10, but I'll take it. Very nice looking card. Making a nice move to the hoop. Trying to use his left arm to shield off the defender. And we go to one of my favorite players of all time. The human highlight film, Dominique Wilkins. Autograph grade of 8. Just a great shot of him doing what Dominique is known for, dunking the ball on people. It's a very gorgeous looking card. Of an all-time NBA great NBA Hall of Famer. Next is card number 13, Jim Paxson. Played for the Portland Trailblazers. Um, he also has a brother in the NBA that played with Michael Jordan, uh, John Paxson. And a two-time NBA All-Star for Jim Paxson. Nice autograph, grade of a 9 on this one. Next, we go to one of the biggest what-if stories in NBA history. Ralph Sampson, part of the Twin Towers with Akeem Olajuwon. Nice autograph, grade 9. 
great looking card. Uh, Ralph Sampson, three-time National Player of the Year, four-time NBA All-Star. He was elected to the Hall of Fame in 2012. Next, card number 15, Irvin Magic Johnson. Autograph grade of an eight. NBA Hall of Famer, multiple-time NBA championship, a championship winner. Uh, just one of the most iconic players in NBA history. Legacy while he played in the NBA and also after the NBA with his business holdings. Uh, very um, frequent signer of autographs. It is not uh, difficult to get a Magic Johnson autograph. But what makes this one unique is that it's a vintage Magic Johnson autograph. Which I think is kind of cool. Next card in the set. Card number 16, Reggie Theus. Again, a huge autograph almost across the entire front of the card. Autograph grade eight. Uh, Reggie Theus was one of the people, or one of the players on the Bulls that put up uh, pretty good numbers before Michael Jordan arrived on the scene. So great card of the Kansas City Kings, which are now the Sacramento Kings. Card number 17, Moses Malone. Autograph grade of an eight. Uh, Moses Malone passed away in 2015. Um, he was uh, an NBA icon, star, kind of kept quiet to himself, 12-time um, NBA All-Star. He played in the ABA as well. He was elected to the uh, Hall of Fame in 2001, and I believe he was named one of the 50 greatest players of all time. When you hear all these superstars' names th thrown throughout the league in history, I think Moses Malone is kind of forgotten a little bit. So if you get a chance to look him up, look up his stats, pull up some YouTube videos, he was an absolute animal. Uh, in his day we go to the next card in the set Larry Legend Larry Bird card number 18 autograph grade 8 it's one of the best players of all time a couple minor scuffs on this case I'm not sure why that is probably just mishandled by BGS but again just a great looking card huge photo of him in action with a big autograph on the front we go to card number 19, Larry Nance. Uh, autograph grade of 10. It's kind of a smaller autograph in the middle of the card, but he, obviously he took his time and inked it um, consistent enough and deep enough that BGS felt is worth, uh, worthy of a 10. Kind of zoom in on that a little bit if I can. Uh, Larry Nance, one of the best dunkers in NBA history. I think he was in a couple multi uh, multiple NBA dunk contests. He was a three-time NBA All-Star, known for blocking shots, getting the crowd excited, and just a, uh, another fantastic player. Next card, card number 20, autograph grade of 10, Clark Kellogg. Um, another what-if story, uh, Clark Kellogg's uh, career was kind of short, cut short by injuries, especially knee injuries, if I recall. And if you look in the photo, he actually has two huge knee pads on as well. Um, he averaged about 19 points per game, about 10 rebounds. Was a great player, and I believe now he's known for being a very high-quality announcer for uh, NBA games or college games. I think it's college, actually. But uh, get another cool card. Next card in the set, number 21, Jack Sigma. Autograph grade of 10. Nice bold autograph across the front. Uh, Jack Sigma was elected in the Hall of Fame in 2019. He was uh, known as a very good shooting big man with great touch um, outside of the, the key. Seven-time NBA All-Star. He won an NBA championship in 1979. Um, he had a career with the Supersonics and I believe the Bucks. But again, another nice card. I'll try to get the labels in there a little bit better so you can see them. Next card in the set, card number 22, Alex English. With an autograph grade of a 9 from Beckett. A Hall of Fame inductee in 2006. Averaged almost 22 points per game. 8-time NBA All-Star. He won a scoring championship in 1983. Could really put the ball in the hoop. Another exciting player. That really uh, was great for Denver. Best card in the set. One of my dad's favorite players. 
growing up in New York as a kid. Uh, Bernard King, uh, autograph grade of a nine. Again, a nice bold Bernard King autograph across the front of the card. Uh, Bernard King averaged about 23 points per game. He's had some amazing scoring outbursts in NBA history. He did back-to-back 50-point games in 1984. He later scored 60 points on Christmas Day. And he was elected to the NBA Hall of Fame in 2013. Uh, one of the most talented players in NBA history. And he was uh, injured um, at the peak of his career. Had uh, knee issues like most NBA players do. Another story of somebody that was amazingly talented, but who knows what he could have been without the injuries. Just another guy you should pull up on YouTube and just watch his, um, his theatrics, his style. He's just a fun player to watch. And I think even if he played in the NBA today... People would love his style of play. Next card in the set is number 24, Dave Corzine. Autograph grade of a 9. Dave Corzine, kind of a serviceable NBA player. Played for a bunch of teams. The Bulls, the Spurs, the Bullets, the Magic, the Sonics. Good big man. Probably there to take up some fouls, protect uh, the other stars on the team. I know he played with Michael Jordan as well. Autograph grade of a 9. Good looking card. Uh, the last card in the 25 card yellow set, George Iceman Gervin. Uh, known for his famous finger rolls, a gorgeous autograph across the middle. And he actually put George Gervin Ice on there. And it received an autograph grade of a 10 as well. Um, he averaged 25 points per game for his career, five rebounds, three assists almost, played in the NBA. He was the star for the Bulls before Michael Jordan came on. And he also played over in uh, Europe for a few years. Played in Italy. Played in the Spanish uh, Basketball League as well. Um, at the time, he had the most scoring titles of any guard in league history. Nine-time NBA All-Star, four-time league scorer. And again, I think another older player in league history that people kind of forgot how good uh, he was. So now we go on to the next 25 cards in the set, which are the blue cards that were uh, issued in a separate bag. So card number 26, the first card in the blue set, is the most iconic card in the set. The most desirable is the Michael Jordan card, autograph grade 8. Again, a huge, gorgeous, flowing Michael Jordan autograph with the vintage style pre-upper deck. Uh, these autographs are just very hard to find. I can see why this autograph received an 8. Um, because the ink didn't fully um, capture or cover the entire image. There's some lightness to it. I don't know if the ink was running out. Or it was just the angle that Jordan signed it at. But again, iconic image during a dunk contest. of Michael Jordan kind of doing a reverse kiss the rim dunk. With the vintage Air Jordan sneakers on. Um, this card is, is what makes the set. Special, in my opinion. And here's the back of the card. Again, it's in pretty good shape on the back. No tears or anything. A little damage on the corner up here. But I've never seen another card like this autographed. Um, with a nice autograph as this. I think I've seen one or two up for auction over the past uh, maybe five years. But as part of the full set, I think this one tops them all. We go to the next card in the set, Rolando Blackman. Card number 27, autograph, grade of an 8. Another great NBA player, four-time NBA All-Star. Played for the Mavericks, the Knicks. Nice autograph as well. Next we go to Dan Issel. He played for the Denver Nuggets. NBA Hall of Famer in 1993. Six-time ABA All-Star, and was Rookie of the Year in 1971. Again, another player that can just put the ball in the hoop, put up a ton of points. Autograph grade of an 8 on this. Next, Maurice Cheeks. Play for the Philadelphia 76ers. Nice autograph that goes across the card. Autograph grade of an 8. Uh, made the Hall of Fame in 2018. Part of one of the greatest NBA teams of all time, the 1983 76ers. Four time all NBA defensive team. Great player, gorgeous looking card.
Next, card number 30. We're 60% through the set. We're almost done here. Autograph grade of an eight, Isaiah Thomas. Probably one of the most polarizing figures in NBA history. Uh, nobody could deny how talented he was, but he wasn't the most liked player. He grew up on the mean streets of Chicago. Played with all his heart. He was elected into the NBA Hall of Fame in the year 2000. And again, a nice flowing autograph that received a grade of an eight. And we'll start to speed this up here a little bit. I know I said that earlier. Uh, Robert Parrish, grade eight, card number 31. The Chief, uh, one of the best uh, big men of all time. Just kind of do it all. Great shooter, high arcing release. Uh, was known for practicing martial arts and being a vegan his career. And maybe also uh, was known for smoking a couple things. And I don't mean um, opponents. But um, very, very well-known NBA player. Next, one of the best shot blockers of all time, Mark Eaton. Uh, card number 32. Nice bold autograph there. And um, Mark Eaton, unfortunately, passed away in 2021 uh, during a bicycle riding accident, um, which is very sad. I know he contributed a lot to the community. He was generally known as a pretty good guy. But, again, another player should probably pull up some YouTube highlights uh, with his height. But back in the day, made for some interesting uh, game situations. Played with uh, Carmelo and John Stockton. Uh, was part of some really good teams that put up a ton of wins. Next, we go to card number 33, Sam Perkins. Autograph grade of an 8. Probably one of the worst autographs in this set. It's kind of a, a little couple splotches. There's a pen lift there. Doesn't look all that great. But luckily, being on the large card, it's still a decent size autograph. Um, great NBA shooter. Um... Put up about 12.6 rebounds per game. And he tied an NBA record in 1997 by making eight three-pointers without a miss. So, great shooter. Would probably thrive in today's league. Be exciting to watch. Next, we have Artis Gilmore. ABA, NBA star. I like this autograph, even though it's a little bit uh, thin. It's across the whole body, takes up the whole card, autograph grade of an eight. ABA, NBA All-Star, six-time NBA All-Star, made the NBA, ABA first team five times. Seven foot two, uh, made the NBA Hall of Fame. So great player and uh, fun to watch. Next card in the set, known as the Boston Strangler because he always demolished the Boston Celtics. Andrew Toney for the Philadelphia 76ers. Two-time NBA All-Star. Uh, Charles Barkley has stated on many occasions that Andrew Toney is the most talented and best player that he ever played with. So again, another person you should pull up and uh, check out some highlights. Great looking card. Next, we have Adrian Dantley. Made the NBA Hall of Fame in 2008. Six-time NBA All-Star. Won the Rookie of the Year in 1977. I was known for putting up a lot of points on high efficiency, at least back in the day before three-pointers became the way to shoot most of your hoops. He put up about 54% shooting from the field, about an 80% free throw shooter, and another exciting player for Utah Jazz. Next, we have Terry Cummings for the Milwaukee Bucks. Autograph grade of an 8. Kind of a thinner autograph than some of the other cards in the set. Uh, Terry Cummings, talented player, decent shot. Definitely was not a superstar, but he was a power forward that could uh, put up about 10 to 15 points a game. He played for, I believe, eight teams in his uh, almost 20-year career. Again, nice looking card. <clears throat> We're coming down to the last uh, 12 cards. We have Orlando Woolridge. Autograph grade of an 8. Team Doe and Michael Jordan to put on some amazing dunk fests back in the mid to late 80s. Um, he passed away in 2012. Um, just a freak, freak athlete. Um, he entered a, some dunk contests as well. 
and was just a real joy to watch if you were a fan of the NBA. Next card in the set, Tom Chambers. Four-time NBA All-Star. A uh, few people know this, but he put up 60 points in a game in 1990 for the Sup uh, Supersonics. I remember um, him being well represented in some of the early NBA video games where they even gave him custom dunks and specializations just because he was fun to play with and exciting to watch. Uh, back in you know the mid-80s, trying to actually watch a Seattle Sonics game or games in Seattle if you lived on the East Coast was near impossible. Uh, nowadays, it's a lot easier to watch teams like the Golden State Warriors, the Lakers, the West Coast teams, and get exposed to like really superstar players. But Tom Chambers is definitely one of the best players to do it. Next, we have Gus Williams, another player who probably most people haven't heard of, at least if you're a, uh, a younger NBA fan. Another nice bold autograph across the middle. Played for four NBA teams, averaged 17 points per game, and he won an NBA title in 1979 with the Supersonics. But nice looking card, nice looking autograph. Next, iconic, gorgeous autograph, even though it received an eight. I really don't care. The autograph is just huge for Charles Barkley, NBA Hall of Famer, famous NBA game announcer, uh, one of the best NBA players of all time, 11-time NBA All-Star, averaged 20 points, 11 rebounds, and 4 assists per game. Just somebody who always speaks his mind and is just known as uh, one of the most talented players in NBA history. But I just love this autograph and how large it is. Definitely a better Charles Barkley autograph than what you usually get now, which is a lot shorter version. I don't even think he signs Charles Barkley anymore. I think it's just a C with some lines afterwards. So, again, just a great-looking card. Little Nick at the bottom there. Next, we have Kevin McHale of Boston Celtics. Card number 42, autograph grade of an 8. Autographs right in the middle of the card. Great looking uh, card, three-time NBA champion, seven-time NBA All-Star. Um, he was the first player in NBA history to shoot 60% or better from the field and 80% or better from the free throw line. Just an efficient assassin around the hoop who teamed up with Larry Bird and Robert Parrish to um, just be so part of the most dominant front line in NBA history. So great looking card. Uh, captures a lot of history about the NBA at this time. Next, we go to card number 43, Otis Birdsong. Four-time NBA All-Star. Played for the Kings, the Nets, and the Celtics over a 12-year career. Um, autograph grade of an 8. Nice looking card. Next card, Sam Bowie. Portland Trailblazers, autograph grade of an 8. Nice autograph across the front there. Um, most people probably know this already, but uh, Sam Bowie was selected um, before Michael Jordan in the 1984 NBA draft. And he was selected number 2. Hakeem Olajuwon was selected number 1 by the Houston Rockets, and the Bulls selected Michael Jordan at number three. Another case of what injuries robbed uh, fans of watching and what was possible. Great looking card though. And we go to card number 45, Daryl Griffith. Author, also known as Dr. Duncan Stein, participated in a lot of dunk contests. Nice autograph, grade nine. Um, he was known for a mix of dunking the ball and shooting the ball from distance as well. Fan favorite. Uh, if he played today, people would love him. Great looking car between uh, right next to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Getting the shot up. Car number 46. <clears throat> Kiki Vandeway. Autograph grade of an 8. Another great NBA star. 14-year career, great shooter, shot 87% from the free throw line. Again, great looking card. 
Start to round out the end here. We have Akeem Olajuwon, autograph grade of a nine, bold Akeem Olajuwon autograph. Arguably one of the greatest uh, players in history. Actually, there is the argument he's one of the greatest players in history. I, mean, I guess the argument would be whether he's the greatest center in NBA history. Uh, whether you choose Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Will Chamberlain, Shaquille O'Neal, depending on what your preference would be. Great looking card, NBA Hall of Famer, 12-time NBA All-Star. Two-time NBA champion. We go to Marquise Johnson. Card number 48. Great looking autograph. Sees a grade of an 8. Um, from what I've read about Marquise Johnson, which I'll be honest, I didn't know too much about him. Uh, the term point forward was coined because of Marquise Johnson. He would bring the ball up the court and set up the offense for the team at 6'7". Uh, that was a lot taller player than normally would do that at the time. So kind of a link to NBA history here, but a player that was skilled and was able to bring the ball up even though he was tall and a forward. We have two more cards to go. Card number 49, James Worthy. Big game, James. Nice autograph across the middle. Hall of Famer, 2003. Three-time NBA champion with the Lakers in the 80s. A scoring machine. Smooth, stylistic, effortless. Just made everything look easy. Always came through in the clutch. Great looking card here. Then the last card in the set. Mel Turpin. Cleveland Cavaliers. Autograph creative in eight, passed away in 2010, uh, was a player that struggled with his weight, struggled with staying in shape, and a uh, little bit that I read about him was that a lot of news writers and players that played with him, they loved him, but they always wondered if he took his conditioning seriously and dedicated himself to the game like other superstars did what was possible. So that's the entire 50 card set. Um, all in all, by my count, four deceased players and 24 Hall of Famers. Uh, just a really cool, iconic set. And um, I appreciate you taking the time to go over the set with me and kind of cover a little bit of cardboard history. Again, if anyone else has a, um, a set like this or anything similar, I'd appreciate it if you can maybe make some comments or share it with me. I'm always looking to share sets and part of my collection with other collectors as well I mean, that's what this hobby is all about is sharing our passion and sharing what really gets us excited with other people so again thank you if you have any questions or you want me to take some additional photos of some of these cards please let me know but thank you very much and have a great evening and uh my light person here my friend jagger you have anything to say jagger um have a great rest of your day and hope you enjoyed the video there you go Take care of yourself.